Good morning. I'm here in my garden in Vermont and I've been weeding this morning and I've been pulling a lot of this which I remember I had a housemate who used to just love to chew on it. It's very lemony flavor. It's really quite good. So I decided to just separate out some of this. It's, it looks like clover. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it in a minute, but I'm going to give you a little close-up of it so you can see what it looks like. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to make with it. Cool. Okay. Hi. So I'm back in my kitchen now. And uh, this is what I just pulled out of the garden. I have lots more here in the sink. Um, and I was originally just removing the leaves. And then I decided to go online and check it out to see how, what parts are edible. And it showed that everything is edible. So you can eat the, seed, the, the leaves, the stems, and the flowers, and the seed pots. So now I'm just removing the, the, the root, rinsing it off putting it in my bowl and I'm going to make a lemon clover granita. Now a granita is a frozen dessert and I already started it because I wanted to see how it would taste. Uh, so I'm going to throw in all of what I've got here. I'm going to add some water to it because I think it's going to be a little too thick to blend. So I'll take some of my filtered water. And then I'm going to add some sweetener to taste. Uh, I have some honey here. It's gotten a little solid. And I'm going to probably have to add some agave because I'm running out of honey here. So, and believe it or not, I have cases of honey in New York, but I'm in Vermont right now, so I'm going to have to go out and buy some. I'm going to give it a little taste. Mmm, that is lemony. So I'm going to strain it through what's called a nut milk bag. Now, back in New York, I have a much larger nut milk bag than this, but this will have to do today. When I use a nut milk bag, I usually put it so the seam is on the outside because that makes it, uh, you, you'll, it'll makes it easier to clean because all of the pulp ends up um, sticking in there. So, I'm going to just pour my liquid into my nut milk bag. And this has a drawstring. Not all of them have drawstrings on it, but I want to hold the top because I've had the pulp pop right out. And they just squeeze. So it's like milking a cow, but you're milking the bag. And uh, if you were to make nut milk, you would do the same process except you would blend nuts with water. And um, usually I do about one part nuts and three or four parts of water. Uh, and then I, I strain and then I add my sweetener because sometimes I like to use dates as my sweetener. Um, and blend it up again. But here we have our lemon clover, a little bit of honey, and some agave, and some water. I actually squeezed one half of a lemon in there earlier. Uh, don't know if that was necessary because this has such a lemony flavor. So I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until I get all of the liquid out. It's kind of something kids would like to do because, you, you know, you may tell them not to play with their food. Well, this is kind of fun and you can play. So it is something that if you have children, or you want to borrow some children, <laughs> or hire some kids, or if you teach, it's a nice thing to have kids doing because they can get involved and interactive with their food and it will make them a lot more likely to want to eat it. Now of course this could be frozen in an ice pop. Uh, I'm going to make what's called a granita. And granita is a granular kind of ice. I like it because it doesn't freeze solid. It freezes in, and it's grainy. So it's very easy to scoop out and it has a nice texture. So I'm done. Now these salads I'm probably going to just put onto the compost pile. And let me get my pan. Just use any glass pan. 
Um, and I'm going to pour in my mixture. It's a little foamy on top. And I'm going to set this in the freezer. Now, after an hour in the freezer, I'm going to run a fork through it to break up the frozen parts around the edges and along the top. And every hour, I'm going to go back in and run a fork through it. And that will keep it with that granular texture. So I'm going to set my timer for an hour. I'm going to come back to it, and we'll check it out later. Okay, my timer went off. And I'm going to just take my fork and run it through. So it's a little, a little frozen on the sides and the top. And I'm going to run it through. Wow, it got frozen on the edges. But most everything else is still liquidy. And I'm going to return it to the freezer. I'll set my timer again for another hour. I'm going to keep doing this. And in the end, I'll show you what it looks like once we finish up. Okay? So my granita is ready. And this is what it looks like. So you get a nice little crumbly texture. And it makes it easy to serve. And let me taste it. Let's see how it is. Have a spoon. Mmm. Very refreshing. I think I might add a little bit of basil or mint the next time. Maybe even both. But this is very good. Very good. Nice, refreshing summer treat. So I leave you with that. And uh, very quick, easy. Weed dessert, okay? So when you're weeding the garden, check it out. You might have something that's valuable. Thanks. Bye.